Hello everyone, how you doing? I can't believe this is the final week of my roadside stand for the season. And that's me next week, you know, there will be no more Mason Jar bouquets. Um, it's kind of bittersweet because I'm gonna miss my Mason Jar bouquets. But at the same time, you know, I will have more time to do something else in the garden. To be honest with you, fall is my least favorite season because it's like, you know, everything starts dying and I am also a tropical boy, you know, I, I don't like winter at all because it's so cold and I, I, I mean, I get cold so easily and at the same time, you know, in, when I was in Bangkok, I don't have to wear so many layers of clothes and and also, you know, I am such a big fan of spring because spring has so many like cute flowers, cute young plants, like little twos, you know, that try to pop up in springtime. They, they're just so cute and I love spring so much, which is kind of opposite to fall, you know. October is so hard for me because I start seeing these significant changes. The day getting shorter and shorter, I can start feeling the cool temperature, you know, and I, f I feel like, oh my God, winter is coming. Luckily, you know, I have this Dahlia. They cheer me up. They are the flowers that I would recommend you to grow. And snapdragon is one of the flowers that I am so grateful for because they just keep blooming and blooming and blooming since spring until fall. In spring, they would have like bigger flowers, more like this. But you know, in fall, they can look like small and tiny and the stem is not that strong. But this is gonna be a good accent in my mason jar bouquets. Since I learned about year-round gardening, fall is less depressing for me because I feel like I am already starting the new gardening season like right at this moment i already think about you know the tulips that i am going to plant in the ground in a few months daffodil i already plan for next year um garden bait i already plan you know which new flower variety that i'm gonna grow and only just a few months the daffodil are going to bloom in my garden Actually, don't even have to talk about the daffodil. Um, I, in January or February, the the winter flowers going to bloom like crocus, like snowdrop, like the hellebores, you know. So this month, I am going to focus on cleaning up the garden and start cool flowers, and you know, 
just enjoy the season. Okay, this dahlia is so, 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 so big, right? And you don't want to put two big flowers together. I mean, you can if you want to, but you know, it's going to be too bold. I want to break up the big flowers with the little flowers like this by putting on the side. You can see the bouquets look more soft, more natural looking and cute. And I'm gonna put this Get Crazy Dahlia on this side where there are a lot of greens here. And this is a Yam Queen Basil. It's so pretty. One more Dahlia. Yeah, just right here. And in winter time, if I have to do a flower arrangement and I have to buy flower from wholesale, I usually use these lemon leaves. So I'm gonna break it up like that. Take the leaves out. I mean, take the bottom leaves out. Then I'm going to try to have the leaves kind of pop up a little bit on the bouquets like that. Ta-da! The first bouquet is done. Yay! About one, two, three, four or five more to go. Today is probably gonna be the final day of my roadside stand for the season. I want to thank you all so much for supporting me this entire season. You know, it's, it's been such a good journey. I thought I had the best year last year, but this year is, is incredible. I'm not gonna cry. Um, we're gonna have next season. I... I just want to let you know that I am so thankful for everyone. Thank you so much. It's nice to look forward for beautiful flowers next year. It's nice to think that next season is going to be even a better season. But it's going to be more beneficial for me to be present, to enjoy the surrounding nature to enjoy the relationship that I have with my friends, my family, to just be at the moment. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoy seeing me arranging the very last flowers that I have in my garden. And I just want to thank you all for the comments. You know, it's really helped me feel that they're actually people out there who watching my videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.